Hello y'all, today it is Monday and I am going to try to do a short little devotion with something I was thinking about a couple weeks ago and I was going to do it for devotional then but I didn't get around to it. Um, I shared this on my Instagram stories and um, it was there but I never shared on here. So anyway, I hope that y'all have had a good week thus far and let's just get right into it. So. I was reading Psalms 46 one evening. Um, I always read a couple verses right before I go to sleep. And sometimes I just kind of like pick something random. So I found the, the verse that I was in was Psalms 46 one. And it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. trouble. And so for the first time I realized that verse and like I really saw meaning in it and I thought a very present help. So, when you think of present, it means there, or it's, um, you're just there. And that's not very profound, but I just realized when I was reading it, God is not like us. He is all the way there when he's for us. He's always present with us. And as Christians, he is a very present help in trouble. And in good times and bad times. He's not um, fair weather friend like some people are. He is always there and he isn't um, when he wants to be with us and he wants to fellowship with us. He put He's all the way there. And a lot of times I know if you're doing your devotions or you're praying, a lot of times your mind is wandering. wandering. That is me quite often, more often than I'd like to admit. And a lot of times I'm not all the way present the way I should be when it comes to spending time with the Lord. And I made a note here. I said, God's not like us. When he is present, he's all the way there. Not pre-distracted or too busy to pay full attention. He's there for us at all times, even when we walk away at the times we need him most. As a wise man once said, God's thoughts of you are many. Let not yours be few in return. So it just convicted me because all the times that God is there for me and present for me and I'm not there for him and I wonder how many times it just makes him sad and I got to thinking about it and that was something I thought about for a few days. It's just a really amazing, um, just amazing thought that I'd never seen before. And the next verse says, therefore will we not, will not we fear though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea? Though the waters there roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, see you So it says, I wrote this note, I said, Therefore will not we fear, not because the fears aren't there, but because we serve a God who is always there. And these verses go together perfectly. God's a very present help in trouble, and we don't need to fear. The fears, it doesn't mean that the fears aren't there, but we serve a God who is always there for us, and... God is always there to help, providing refuge, security, and peace. God's power is complete, and his ultimate victory is certain. He will not fail to rescue those who love him. And this is a note in my Bible here from the editors. It says, The fear of mountains or cities suddenly crumbling into the sea as a result of an earthquake or a nuclear blast haunts many people today. But the songwriter says that even if the world were to end, we need not fear. In the face of utter destruction, he expressed a quiet confidence in God's ability to save him. It seems impossible to consider the end of the world without fear, but the Bible is clear. God is our refuge even in the face of total destruction. He is not merely a temporary retreat. He is our eternal refuge and can provide strength in any circumstances. So that's a really good thought there. I did not, I haven't read that note before till just now. But I would encourage you to read Psalms 46. It's a short chapter, only 11 verses, but it's really encouraging. And Psalms 46, 11 is probably one of the best known Bible verses is be still and know that I'm God. I will be exalted among the heathen. <clears throat> I will be exalted in the earth. And um, I learned a while back, I think it was last year sometimes, in Hebrew, the word, the phrase be still, it means let go. And so this verse could be translated as let go and know that I'm God. So let go of your fears or whatever is holding you back from 
being um, trusting in the Lord and be present for him to spend time with him and um, let him comfort you with his presence. So I know that's not a lot of very profound statements or anything, but it is something that really stuck out to me and I hope that encouraged y'all as well. Um, and if y'all have anything you need prayer for, just let me know in the comments and I will do my best. I will be more than happy to pray for you. Um, I like to uh, just see what people have to say and just let me know if there's anything I can pray for you in and let me know what you've been reading in the Bible, just whatever. I enjoy um, getting comments from y'all, hearing what's going on in your life. So anyway, I hope that y'all have a blessed rest of your week and I will see you Wednesday, hopefully. I'm trying to get in a better schedule and it's going okay so far, but <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. But anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Jesus saves.